Hello there guys, Mark here. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the multiple strand conquistador braid. This one is commonly used as a wrap for various handles. Now the technique is quite common in leather working, but in the paracord crafts, it has not caught on yet all that much. Usually, we need to see a few successful applications for such a technique before we pick it up. So I hope that this video is going to inspire some of you to at least try it. So here you can see a small length of the multiple strand conquistador braid. In my opinion, it looks great. As you can see, I used multiple strands to do it. This has a number of advantages, the main one being it is very fast to do. Well, very fast comparing to the single strand version. We're going to start this tutorial by first taking a look at how to start the braid, then how to braid it, and finally how to finish it up. So let's get started. To start my braid, I like to use a rubber band and place it onto the object that I'm wrapping. Then I'm going to take my strands of paracord, fold them in half, and feed them under the rubber band like this. So for this specific handle, I'm going to be using four cords folded in half. So I'm going to get eight strands to work with. So like this. The proper spacing in a multi-strand conquistador braid is about one cord. So each cord should be about the width of a single cord away from the other cord. So do space them apart a little bit. I have now set up the spacings between my strands. The wider the spacings, the looser my conquistador braid is going to be. If you want a tighter conquistador braid, simply reduce your spacings by adding in additional strands. We're going to continue by securing the top of our strands using some sort of a binding knot. My favorite is the strangle knot. I take a thinner piece of cordage or an inner strand of paracord. Then I do a series of wraparounds. The more that you do, the more secure your strangle knot is going to be. So let's say something like this. We have a decent number of wraparounds and I'm now going to continue by taking my working hand and passing it under my wraparounds. Like this. Then take the standing hand and also pass it under your wraparounds. rounds. 
like this. Then slowly but firmly tighten up. Like this. Then, as a safety measure, you can tie the two ends together using, for example, a reef knot. At this point, trim the ends, fix any spacings between the strands, and then we're going to continue. I have removed the rubber band off of the handle since we don't need it anymore. We're going to begin braiding by taking one of the strands, passing it under the strand to the left, then back to where we came from at the start. So under, then back over to where we came from. Try to hold the strands that you used up using your other hand. So like this. Take your next strand, pass it under the strand to the left, then back to where you came from, going over like this. Take the next strand, pass under the strand to the left, then back over to where you came from. Take the next strand, under, Then back to where you came from, going over. Take the next strand, under the strand to the left. Then back to where you came from, going over. And the next strand, under the left strand then back over. And the next one, under, and back over, like this. With your last strand, you're going to travel through the loop created by the first strand that you used. So all we're going to do is pass under that loop and through. Then tighten up a little bit and then we're going to continue. Our second row is going to be done in the opposite direction. So we traveled towards the left side, we now travel towards the right side. We pick up a strand, pass under the strand on the right, then back to where we came from, traveling over like this. Try to hold the strands that you used using your other hand, like this. Take the next strand, pass under the strand to the right, then back over to where you came from, like this. The next strand again passes under the strand to the right and back to where you came from. It is always a good idea to try to tighten up the braid while you're braiding it.
take the next strand, pass under the strand to the right, then back over to where you came from. Tighten up. And the next strand, under the strand to the right, then back to where you came from. And the next strand passes under the strand to the right and back. And again, the next strand under the strand to the right, then back to where you came from. Tighten up a bit. And then we're going to take our last strand and again feed it through the loop of the first strand that we use. So we're going to travel through the loop like this. So this was two sequences completed. We went once towards the left side and once towards the right side. We're going to repeat our first sequence at this point, then the second one, and then the first one and so on. We take one of the strands, pass under the strand to the left, then back to the right side. So, to where we came from. Take the next chord, under, then back to where you came from. Again, hold your strands with your other hand. Then the next strand, again, under, and over, back to where you came from. And the next strand, under the strand to the left, then back to where you came from, going over. And again the next strand, under the strand to the left, and back over. And the next strand, under the strand on the left, and back over. Tighten up. Continue. Under the strand on the left, and back to where you came from. Again, our final strand is going to pass into the loop created by the first strand that we used up. So something like this. Now you can probably already expect what we're going to do next. Once more, for good measure, we're going to travel towards the right side, so pick up a strand, pass under the strand to the right, then back to where you came from. Hold your strands with the other hand. Pick up your next strand, pass under the strand to the right, and back to where you came from. I highly recommend that you tighten up as you go along. But you can do it after you complete each row as well. It is a matter of preference. Take your next strand again, under the strand to the right, then back to where you came from. Tighten up. Pass under the strand to the right. And then back to where you came from.
again using your next strand pass under the strand to the right and back to where you came from again with your next strand under the strand to the right and back to where you came from again with our next strand under the strand to the right and back to where you came from our final strand is again going to pass into the loop created by the first strand that we used like this now continue this sequence traveling once towards the left once towards the right and so on in my opinion the hardest part about this braid is figuring out how to tighten it up evenly now as i've mentioned you can tighten up as you go along but the main part of the tightening is usually done after you do each row so for example here the previous row was towards the right side so the next one is towards the left So I have tied my wrap with my strands facing the left side. To tighten it up, I'm now going to rotate my object towards the right side and tighten up. So let's say that I'm going to start at this strand. So I tighten it up, I hold it, and then I'm going to tighten up the strand to the right. like this continue with the next strand towards the right side and the next one and the next one and the next So, I did my tightening on this row. So, I tied towards the left and I tighten up towards the right. And you do basically the reverse thing on the next step. So this time I tied towards the right side. So the strands are facing the right. To tighten up, I'm now going to rotate towards the left side and tighten up first one strand, hold it a bit, 
then tighten up the one to the left. Then the next one to the left. The next one. And the next one. And so on. So you can see that the tightening process can be quite simple once you figure it out. After you reach a sufficient length for your conquistador braid, finish off again using a strangle knot. Then trim the ends. And finally, once you have cut the ends, you can cover them up using a Turk's head knot. This way you get a nice finish for your multi-strand conquistador braid. So guys, that's it for the multi-strand conquistador braid, a rare technique that is in my opinion underused. Thank you very much for joining me today and I do hope to see you next time.